Welcome to Sex Ed with DB. I'm your host, Danielle Bezalow. Let's get into it. Welcome back to the podcast. If you love and support the work that we do, join my crew on Patreon to win amazing prizes like our adorable merch, exclusive behind the scenes content, private sessions with yours truly, and incredible sex toys. Go to patreon.com slash sexedwithdb to join my crew. Get discounts at all of my favorite brands at sexedwithdb.com. And follow us on Instagram at sexedwithdbpodcast and on TikTok at sexedwithdb. If you want to partner with us, email us at sexedwithdb at gmail.com. Hello, pals. Happy holidays. I hope that wherever you are, you are experiencing joy, love, lust, excitement. If you're with your family, I hope that they're not making you too wild, (laughs) driving you bananas, uh, and that you're having a good time. If you're with friends, I hope that you are having a blast. Being home for the holidays can bring up a lot of weird shit. Maybe you're feeling like you're annoyed with your parents the second you get home, or if you have a healthy, great relationship with them, maybe you're just so excited to be there. But there still comes a time in every holiday experience where you might be feeling a little horned up and you need some alone time or you need some time with your partner. And so this episode is giving you some tips and tricks on basically how to get it on during the holidays when you're home. It can maybe feel like there's a lot of people around and you need some time to yourself. And so I'm going to be going over three tips that I highly recommend you try if you're someone who wants to have sex either with yourself or with someone else while you're home for the holidays. Now, Number one might seem obvious, but really take advantage of those times that you are going to be by yourself. And that number one is the shower. So obviously there aren't going to be other people bothering, or there shouldn't be, I hope there aren't, other people bothering you while you are showering. And so it's the perfect opportunity to masturbate. And if you have a toy that is essentially waterproof that can get wet and can go in the tub if you're wanting to take a bath and masturbate. Highly recommend using that. It's really important too that you use a toy that is silent, right? You don't want to make other family members feel uncomfortable if they can hear your toy. Some of those toys that I, you know, recommend are clitoral toys. You know, I think Dame's Palm is a pretty good one if you like clit stimulation. And if you really want to be discreet, um, one of our sponsors is not sponsoring this episode, but Freya is an amazing company that has a dual two-in-one product that is a razor and a clitoral vibrator. When you take the razor head off, there's a power button and you can use that. And so if you're someone who doesn't want to feel like you have to bring in and out your toy from to and from the bathroom when you're showering, because maybe that's a little awkward. You have to hide it in the bathroom in your toiletry kit. But instead of that, you could just have your razor there and that could be your Freya razor. So definitely check them out. If you want to buy that, go to our website at our discounts code page um, and you can use sex ed with DB for a discount. So the shower is is number one, shower or bath. Definitely use use that time to masturbate. Number two, if you have a car or if your partner or hookup or one night stand has access to a car, really like think about how sexy it could be in a safe way if you trust this person to drive to a, you know a location that's very far away from your house. Maybe you need to go get you know something for dinner that night. Maybe you got to tell your parents, hey, I'm gonna go grab a dessert really quick. And that's when you sneak off, get into your your partner's car and go fuck in the car somewhere. Um, that will essentially ensure that you won't have anyone walking in on you in your bedroom. You don't need to be quiet like you would be in the shower. You can be as loud as you want. And it can be fun to really have a, a little quickie in the back seat if that's your if that's your jam, if that's your your vibe. Um, so number one, shower. 
Number two, make use of a car, either yours or someone else's. And number three, I think this is just kind of like a general feeling and idea. If you are someone who has a basement or who knows that you're going to have alone time, if your parents are going to go walk the dog or whatever, really appreciate the idea of the quickie because sometimes, especially for people with vulvas for women, it can take, you know, on average 20 minutes to get us rolling in order for us to feel ready and prepped to reach orgasm if that's our goal. But during the holidays, maybe orgasm isn't our goal. Maybe our goal is just to do the quick and dirty, get some pleasure, get the fuck out of there. And so the third tip and trick is more so just a general framework that I want you to appreciate and understand as, you know, maybe orgasm isn't the goal of holiday sex. Maybe it's just experiencing some quick and nice pleasure, you know, trying to figure out whether that means, okay, maybe you don't want to do penetration. Maybe it's just kissing, hand stuff. Maybe someone's going down on someone. Maybe it's nipple stuff. Maybe it's erogenous zones, the neck, the ears, other things of that nature. And so really important that we appreciate quickness and timeliness if we don't feel like we have a lot of experience with our parents or our family members leaving the house. And so those are the three tips that I have. Number one, shower, masturbation, get a quiet toy, make sure it's waterproof. Check out Freya if you haven't heard of it or haven't checked it out yet. Two is definitely utilizing that car if you or uh, your hookup has one and make sure you trust that person, of course, naturally. And number three, realizing that maybe orgasm isn't the goal of holiday sex, but being a little sneaky, being a little silly, having a little fun could be the goal. So I hope those tips and tricks helped. At the end of the day, you know your your house and you know your, your space best. So I'll leave it up to you to how to uh, devise a sneaky plan as to how to masturbate or have sex in your in your family home during the holidays. And just remember that having sex and masturbating can relieve a lot of the stress that you may be feeling around your family during that time. And it can just be your little secret that you're having this pleasure um, on your own or with somebody else. So happy holidays, everyone. I think I said this last week, but I'm just so grateful to have you all in my community. We've had another year together with me being able to create this podcast and create content and offer you all amazing guests and experts along the way. And so if you appreciate or love a certain episode that we've done the past year, I really want to hear about it. Please email us at sexedwithdb at gmail.com. I'll be the one who's answering those emails and receiving them. And tell me what you love about this season so far and what your favorite episodes have been. I love you all. Thank you so much. Happy holidays. Our creator, host, and executive producer is me, Danielle Bezalel, aka DB. Our co-producer and communications lead is Katherine Cohen. Our co-producer is Brian Peoples. Our social media intern is Sarah Kelly. Our music theme is by Hook Sounds. Thank you so much to our featured guests, partners, and our listeners. Want to advertise with us? Email us at sexedwithdb at gmail.com. For more sex ed content, follow us on IG at sex ed with DB podcast and on TikTok at sex ed with DB. See you next time.